Welcome to the Variety Module tutorial video. The objective of this lecture is to introduce you to the Variety Module. We will firstly do a short overview to describe the purpose and goal of this solution. Then, we will go through the workflow. And finally we will see how to configure the module. To understand the purpose of the Variety Module let's define a variety first. Within a species there can be a wide range of different types of plant. Farmers and growers need plants with particular characteristics and that are adapted to their environment and their cultivation practices. A plant variety represents a more precisely defined group of plants, selected from within a species, with a common set of characteristics. In plant breeding, a variety may consist of multiple genotypes that represents various versions of the variety. Each genotype may include multiple observations and multiple lots. In the example here you can see three versions of genotypes with different names but they are all represented as the same variety name, H2003. The variety module is designed for tracking and managing all activities related to product development and commercialization of new plants varieties. This product life cycle involves first the R&D department who creates the first version of the variety, may it be hybrid, open pollinated, vegetative propagation, etc and evaluates it in its early stage. Later it also involves the product development department and marketing that will evaluate it in multiple locations and territories until it becomes a new product. This solution provides a unified platform to keep a smooth data transfer for all the departments involved in this process. In order to support the product life cycle of a variety, this module offers a new page which provides a list of all varieties in that organization with a detailed view on each variety. To access the variety page, Click on the top right menu and select Varieties. The product life cycle is based on varieties stages that corresponds to different milestones throughout the product development or commercialization. Transferring varieties from one stage to another might require protocols and manager's approval which is supported in this module. You will be able to define unique stages per crop, set the managers who should approve each stage and configure tasks assigned to each stage. The user starts the process by requesting to advance a genotype to the next stage. The request is done through the field object or the germplasm set. New columns were added on the variety level describing the variety name and the current variety stage. In the stage info column you can see if a request for advancement was made but still pending for approval. In this example the genotype is in hybrid in stage H2. Choose the genotype and click action to advance the stage. The request was sent to the approver by email and also appear in the variety module. In the variety module you will find the request tab, displaying all the requests that you as approver, have to review. Here is our latest request, the approver can click on the request, and respond to it by approving, declining or asking for more info. Before approving, you can look at the variety detail by clicking on the square blue icon next to the variety name. This will open a new tab next to the variety list. The first subtab is the variety description form. Here you can see the basic information on the variety like its name, parents, and stage. In addition you can customize your own traits to add in that form. For example, which market, commercial name, segment etc. Then you can fill out the form on each variety. These variety traits are created and configured under the Configuration tab. The next tab is the Profile tab. This tab shows the phenotypic profile of the variety. The information is taken from germplasm level of the breeding page. For hybrid varieties, the female and male parents information will be displayed as well. For non-hybrid varieties, parents are not displayed. If pictures were taken in the fields, they will appear on the right side of the form. 
the task tab displays the list of tasks that have to be done before approving the next stage. Tasks can be added manually from the Actions button, but they can also be configured to be assigned automatically for each stage. This is explained later on the Configuration section. When going through the task list, the user can mark the task as done and update the task status. Attachments can be added to the task. Click on the Action button to add a document. The Request tab presents the history of requests of this variety. You can see all the previous stages who requested to advance the variety and and who approved them. You can have more than one approver for each stage. The approvers are configured in the configuration button. The germplasm tab will display all the genotypes that were created under this variety name. In this example there are two versions of this hybrid under the variety TO16. The Observation tab will display all the observations made in the field for these genotypes. And the Inventory tab will show you all the available lots of this variety. The first step of the variety module configuration is creating the PLC stages that corresponds to the organization's protocol. There are three types of possible stages. Stages for varieties that are hybrids. Stages for parental lines of the hybrids. Stages for varieties that are not hybrid like open pollinated or clones. Create your stages according to these types and assign them to the relevant crop. Optionally, assign one or more approvers that should sign a move of variety to this stage. Advancing the genotype for the first time will trigger a variety code. To define the variety code as well as the parental line code go to the crop setting and configure the new variety name setting section. To define level of access and permission to the users on the variety module, you have to define a permission group and assign the relevant actions. The actions related to the variety module are categories 83 to 94. This permission group can be assigned on the user level across all research groups. Go to the user. Click to edit and assign the permission group to the group field. To summarize this lecture, we learned how the variety module supports the product life cycle of a variety. We went through the variety page layout and how to configure it. Should you need any additional support in implementing the module, do not hesitate to contact the support team. Thank you.